I was working at my base when suddenly I heard a noise. That sound was coming from somewhere below my base. As I got closer, the sound was getting louder and louder. And it wouldn't stop. Till I found... Oh, it's just another extractor. I forgot I had one here. Auto extractors may be creepy, but they're incredibly efficient. While with your terrain tool you can get items by deforming the terrain, auto extractors don't make holes in your courtyard. In addition, they collect up to 15 times the number of resources that you would by using the terrain gun. Moreover, you can leave them and go do your things. Once you'll be back, they will have provided lots of items for you. So as soon as you can make one or more, I would recommend that you do print it. So today I'm going to show you how all the extractors work and for those of you that really want to put them into slavery, I will show you how you can overclock them to make them work even faster. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get my weekly Astroner videos. First of all, let's see how the extractors work. When you see a deposit of the resource you want to collect, just place the extractor on top of it. The bar will turn green to indicate how many resources the extractor will be able to collect in that spot. The greener, the better. So just move it around and look for the place with the highest score. Now you're gonna need to provide some power and turn the extractor on. But if you don't add storage, you will soon run out of space and the old extractor will stop working. So you can either put some sort of storage on top of it or place an auto arm and a large canister nearby. Make sure the auto arm can reach either the dispenser hole or the storage on top to collect the items into the canister. And you're good to go! Now you can leave and do your business till the extractor is done. The more power you provide, the faster it will work. But I usually use this setup because it's a good compromise between stuff to carry around and power provided. This is one of those things that don't always stay in one place, so there is no need to bring your whole base. And you don't need to, because while you go and do your stuff, it will continue to provide resources for you. What's better than having someone else working for you while you look for mushrooms in the caves? A nice little trick to get notified from the distance once the storage is full is to attach a storage sensor to your canister. Just attach the line coming from the sensor to a beacon or a firework or even a horn if you don't care about having a peaceful neighborhood and you'll know exactly when your canister is full. Unfortunately there is still a bug that causes the odd extractors to stop from time to time but I know that the developers are aware of it and will try to fix it. Still, using auto arms is questionably the most convenient way to gather resources. And now the nerd part. Let's overclock the odd extractor and make it work faster and consume less power. I didn't make this design, I have seen it on social networks and I don't know who was the first one to make it, so let me know in the comments if you know. We know that by adding power through RTGs, odd extractors are going to work faster, right? But thanks to Overclock, we're actually saving power. Here I have put two odd extractors side by side. One is powered by one RTG, while the other is powered by small generator. As you can see, the speed is the same. We can take advantage of this and save precious resources. But since we want this contraption to be automated, we cannot rely on organic, right? So I recommend using an RTG or a QDRTG or some batteries with power production. So how is this done? We're gonna need a power repeater and two delay repeaters. Set both delay repeaters to 9 ticks. You may need to play a little and see which setting works better for you. As game ticks are not absolute in my understanding, but are related to how quick your hardware or console are. So start at 9 ticks and play around till you get the sweet spot but 9 ticks should be good for the majority. Connect the line coming from the button repeater to one of the delays. Now pull a line from the delay and hook it to the ground first by pressing the F key on a computer, then connect it to the other delay. And do the same for the other delay. 
Basically, they need to be connected to each other to form a clock that is giving an impulse every 9 ticks. The reason why we hooked to the ground is because we need to pull a new line from both delays, again by using the F key, and attach them to the extractor. Make sure you have power and start it by activating the button repeater. The delays will loop into each other and cut short the animation of the extractor, making it extract faster. No fancy animations here, just hard and fast productivity. Who needs a terrain tool? Overclocking the extractor will make you gather even more resources. Actually, I hope that this is not going to be fixed by the developers. Now, where are you going to store all these resources? Check my video on how to make an automated resource sorter and storage. And if you would like to support my work, you may hit the join button, officially become a member of this channel and choose your exclusive content. And don't forget to subscribe to watch my weekly astronaut videos and smash the bell icon to be notified when a new video comes up. Please like the video if you enjoyed, this is Kuya Game, stay safe. Ouch!